Dr. Nitya Ramuti here, Senior Obstetrician and Gynecologist at Fortis Mother Hospital, Chennai. So today's topic will be baby movements, that is fetal movements. So how early do you think that we will see the detect, we can detect the fetal movements? The earliest we can see is only in ultrasound. Around the 6th to 7th week, we can see the embryo arch its back. By 7 to 8 weeks, or between 7 to 9 weeks, I would say, we can see the child moving its limbs rapidly. By the 11th week, you can see it thumb sucking. And by 12th week, it yawns. And also, it moves rapidly inside the amniotic fluid. So, that's how early you can see the baby's movements. Then, how early does a mother pick it up? If she's a slim-built person, by the end of 18th week, she will feel the move, slight movements. And if the thick abdominal wall, then by the end of 20th week, then how does she feel it? It's like a gentle tap or like a feather touch. Because at the end of 20th week, the baby weighs only 350 grams. So it will only feel like a simple feather touch. So how does she feel it? We ask her to keep the ab both hands on the abdomen to feel the movements. She will only feel like a gentle tap, like a gentle tap only. See, around the 30th week, the baby weighs about 1.1 kg to 1.2 kg. So the baby is a little, a little more stronger. So you can able to feel the kicks and movements better. At the end of 34th week, when the liker is maximum, so the baby is weighing even more. See, it must be weighing about 1.5, 1.6 kg. So the movements are more and the kicks are more because the liker is excess. So it's like a swimming pool for the baby. At the end of 36th week, by then, the head comes down and descends down in and gets fixed into the lower abdomen. So the head gets fixed. And when the head gets fixed, the kicks are a little less, and, but the movements will be the same. So then we give them, normally that's what I would do is I give all my patients around the 34th week, I give them a kick count chart. It's called a Cardi's kick count chart. So this one, they have to monitor the movements soon after breakfast, lunch and dinner. They can watch for half an hour. Within half an hour itself, she feels five movements. I ask them to see movements or kicks. This was to create awareness for the mother. So they have to soon after every meal, after breakfast, after lunch, after dinner. For half an hour, five, and one hour it will be ten. This is how we ask them to watch the movements. Then there are times when the mother gets panicked. Because there are times when she gets panicked, but she doesn't move, to, uh, feel the movements. Especially when she's busy cooking, or she's working on the computers for long hours in the IT sector, or she's busy with some kind of work. Then suddenly she realizes, oh, I didn't watch. And then she sits. In such a case, I tell them not to worry. All you have to do is to have a glass of fresh juice or a glass of warm milk with sugar and watch for the movement. You always have to remember to keep your hands on the abdomen. Or otherwise, you can gently move your abdomen from side to side to feel for the movements. Or you can always lie on your side and feel for the movements. Or the easiest thing is to listen to music. Just put on your earphones and listen and watch for the movements. In spite of all this, if you still don't feel the movements, then you must immediately inform your doctor and go and meet her. That's the most, most important thing to do. Then in what all conditions that you find that the movements are less? especially if you are anemic or if there is a pregnancy induced hypertension or if the placenta is situated in the front that is called anterior placenta or when the liker is less then you always feel the movements on the lower, lower part of the abdomen lower part so our otherwise when there is a cord around the neck the cord sometimes can be loose or it can be tight if the cord is tight then the movements are either less or the movements are vigorous so either way it is going to be so if the cord around the neck or the other conditions will be when malpresentation when it's a breech presentation where the head is up and the bumps are down or the transverse lines in these conditions the movements are less or otherwise she's on some kind of a medication like maybe on any antipsychotic drugs these conditions can cause movements so watching your move baby's movement is very important just spend half an hour after every meal to watch the movement if you have any doubt you must immediately contact your doctor because I had an incident last week, that's why I want to share this with you, it's very important. She's a very bright girl, she was and uh, she had been regularly seeing me. The last one month, I did not see her because she had gone to her to visit her parents. And when she came to me, she was already 34 weeks completed. And she said, I, I was watching for the child's movements in the last, yesterday, whole, yesterday was a Sunday she, and there was no movements at all. 
And I said, why didn't you call me? Because you have my number with you. You should have called me. She said, doctor, it was a Sunday. I said, listen, your baby is more important. You are more important, not Sunday. So with them, what I did immediately, we did all the basic investigations. Then I did ultrasound. In ultrasound, they said the baby is fine, weighing about 1.6 kg, like resufficient, blood circulation, everything is good. Doctor study is good. Then I immediately did NST. In NST, when we watched for an hour, we found there was no movements and that was a sinusoidal pattern which suggests anemia. So what we did, we immediately did section. What, what may come, we had given the steroids to the mother so that the child should come out and cry, covered with antibiotic, abdomen prepared, everything done in form theater. And we immediately did section and we took out a child so looking very pale, a boy, baby looking very pale with a weak cry. I was wondering why the child is looking so pale and luckily my pediatrician immediately revived the baby and we did the hemoglobin which only 3 grams and in blood transfusion was given and the baby is revived and baby is doing very well now and of course the pediatric hematologist is also keeping a close watch with the baby. So this is an incident which I want to share with you. Uh, I think you should seriously watch movements, not take it light. If you have any problem, you immediately go to the hospital and visit your doctor. Have a great day. Till we meet again. Bye.